is offering a plea bargain, and you've indicated that you wish to accept that, and as part of their plea bargain, you would have to plead guilty. Uh, you also have uh, their other type of plea, uh, would be a plea of no contest. Now, a plea of guilty is a complete admission of your guilt. A plea of no contest is, is not an admission of your guilt, but is an admission of the truth of the facts alleged in the indictment, and the plea or admission shall not be used against you in subsequent civil or criminal proceeding. So those are the two pleas that are available to someone who wishes to resolve a criminal case by way of a plea. However, by virtue of the plea agreement, they are requiring that you plead guilty and accept uh, guilt in this matter. Is that understood? Yes, Your Honor. I will be giving you a, a further instruction on this shortly, but uh, I did want to go over it since it's very important. I'm sure you've talked with your attorneys about this, but do you understand that you have white that you have that you are waiving your right to a jury trial by entering a plea, that you're waiving your right to confront witnesses against you, that you're waiving the right to compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in your favor, that you're waiving uh, well, that you're waiving the right to require the state to prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt at a trial, and you understand that you cannot be compelled to testify against yourself. Do you understand you're giving up all those specific rights by entering a plea? I do, Your Honor. And I will talk with you about those further. Mr. Castro, how old are you, sir? 53 years old. How far did you go in school? Uh, 12th grade. I graduated from Lincoln West. High school. Which is near your house? Yes. And as you're here today, are you under the influence of any illegal drugs or alcohol? No. Do you take any prescription medications? No. None? No, I, I have medication through my doctor here, but it's not prescription. All right. But it doesn't affect your ability to think clearly or make a decision, correct? That is correct. Did you take any of the medicine yesterday? Uh, yeah, the, the medicine that they give me here. All right, well, what, for what particular condition? <clears throat> high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, and aspirin. All right, so you're receiving those, uh, but not anything that would affect your, your thinking or decision making, correct? They tried to give me uh, something for my allergies, but I, I said to them, if, if it makes me drowsy, I would stop taking it. So that pill will probably, it would interfere, but I'm not taking it, so right, the ones not, that I'm taking now do not interfere. Right, so you have not taken the antihistamines or anything else recently? That is correct. Are you an American citizen? Yes. Where were you born? Puerto Rico. And when did you come to the Cleveland area? To the Cleveland area? Mm -hmm. Around 1972. Right. Um, was Spanish your first language? Spanish is my first language, but I, I understand English m <clears throat> more because I was raised here most of my life. Right. Do you even write Spanish anymore? I write it, but I struggle, and I read and I struggle. Right. But in English, are you uh, fluent? English, I'm very good at spelling, and I'm very good at reading, but I can't comprehend because of, like I mentioned earlier, my addiction to pornography and my sexual problem has really taken a toll on my mind. But in general, the things that you've had to deal with here, evidence, the charges, conversations with your attorneys, you've been able to understand the written material as well as the spoken material? Yes, and I put my trust on them. And you still have family in the area, is that correct? That is correct. Are you currently on probation, parole, or post-release control? Are you on supervision with any court or jurisdiction? No. I want to talk to you now about the uh, plea agreement and some of the specifics. The state will be asking, uh, as set forth in page 9, for the court 
to dismiss a, a significant number of counts, and those would deal with an issue, a legal issue of merger. So they're going to ask me to dismiss those ultimately today after you've entered a plea. Are you aware of that? The uh, how many are there? Thirty. Uh, Forty. Yes, I am. <laughs> So 40 counts will be dismissed, and they anticipate you'll plead guilty to the remaining 937. Is that clear? That is correct. I really, I don't necessarily, don't necessarily uh, agree on 937, but I understand. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you that's somewhat common in any plea negotiation in a criminal case or even a civil case. Uh, usually, either side is perfectly happy. Okay. Okay. But. You're reaching this agreement of your own free will, is that correct? That is correct. And upon, in, in conjunction with the advice of counsel? Yes. So you'll be pleading to the uh, 937 counts. You're agreeing also to execute all necessary documents and to perform all acts necessary to transfer right, title, and interest in your real property at 2207 Seymour Avenue in Cleveland. And that will be transferred, I believe, to the uh, county to go to the land bank. Is that correct? It is. Yes, sir. So you're agreeing to sign documents to turn your house over to the county land bank. Is that understood? I understand, yes. You're also agreeing to abide by the terms of a stipulated protective order is that understood? Yes. And you're agreeing not to seek profit from the commission of these offenses. And that was in compliance with this agreement and as disclosed for any items under the proper agreement. In other words, you will not be permitted to profit from anything, any aspect of this case. Is that clear? Yes, it is. You understand that as part of the plea agreement, you'll also be forfeiting items of uh, personal or real property and, and such to the state. And they're set forth uh, in this agreement. Can I get back? I do understand. In particular, there is $22,268.83 of U.S. currency bill be forfeited. Again, the right title and interest you have in your real property. Uh, you will be receiving back, or your family will receive back on your behalf, family photo albums and clothing. Is that understood that you're getting something back from this? Yes, it is, but uh, the currency does not sound right. I know there was more money than that in there. I don't know I what know the inventory that was. was. That's the amount. Of I'm just, I'm just mentioning that there was more money than twenty-two thousand dollars. All right, Mr. McGinney, I'm sure you'll follow up on that. <laughs> Judge, we're going to tear down the house and we're going to look closely at everything that falls. There's more. We plan to keep it. Right. Thank you. And in fact, there will be a demolition of the house. That's correct. Very soon. And Mr. Castro, you understand that. This is a recommended sentence to the court. If I were determined to accept it, then it would be imposed after sentencing hearing. If I were determined not to accept it, then the parties would be back at their original position, which would be this matter is set for trial on August 5th. Is that clear? Yes, it is, Your Honor. And you're agreeing as part of this settlement agreement that if the court does accept the recommendation that you're going to receive the sentence that is set forth in this uh, plea agreement. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Which is life without parole plus a minimum of 1,000 years. Is that clear? Yes, Your Honor. You understand that by entering into this agreement with the state that you're withdrawing and waiving any potential constitutional challenges, uh, about the uh, gathering of evidence, and you're waiving any right to further testing of DNA evidence. Is that clear? Yes, it is clear. And again, the basis, as stated a few paragraphs before this, was that the state is uh, giving up their right to seek the death penalty. Is that clear? 
That's what they're giving up in order to reach this bargain with you, and you're having to give up things too. That's correct. I understand you're also uh, waiving any potential claims on appeal of post-conviction motions. Uh, and you're agreeing that, to your knowledge, your attorneys have done everything uh, that you've requested to them to do and that you're not making any claim that the state is engaged in prosecutorial misconduct. Is that understood? Yes, it's understood. We understand in addition to all that, again, we'll be labeled as a sexual predator. There are certain court reporting requirements. We'll go over that prior to the sentencing hearing. We'll receive the form. They'll be signed and they'll have it to take with you. Is that clear? Yes, Your Honor. Is there anything about the topics that I've just discussed with you that is unclear? Any questions you have for the court? No, but I would like to state that I, I was also a victim as a child and it just kept Okay, well, those are issues. Going. That's certainly something that you can bring up at your sentencing hearing because mm -hmm. at your sentencing hearing, uh, you have the opportunity to speak. Uh, your attorneys have the opportunity to speak on your behalf. Other family members or, or persons could speak for you. And then the state has a right uh, to speak, and, as the, and the victims will be notified about the uh, sentencing, and they have the right to speak if they wish. Okay, so at that hearing, uh, which I believe will go forward on August 1st, uh, you do have an uh, absolute, absolute right to allocute and to uh, to talk about any information you feel is relevant to sense. Okay? I do understand. And I spoke to my lawyers about that. They explained that to me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Castro, are you satisfied with the representation that you received from your two attorneys? Yes, I am. Is there anything that they have failed to do that you've asked them to do? Um, well, like I mentioned earlier, I uh, haven't received all my uh, information on the inventory, the inventory but um, they assure me that I will get that. Okay. Do you understand by entering guilty pleas here to the numerous counts that are set forth in this written plea agreement that you're waiving or giving up certain constitutional rights? I am aware of that. I'm going to talk to you about your specific rights. Mr. Castro, do you understand that you have the right to trial by jury or to a judge in this case? Can you please uh, ask that again? Yes. Sir, do you understand that you have the right to trial by jury or to a judge in this case? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Do you understand you're giving up that right by entering a plea? You will not have a trial. I do understand. Do you understand that you have the right to an attorney, somebody you pay, or if you can't afford one, that the court will appoint an attorney to represent you at no cost to you? I understand. Do you understand that you have the right to summon or subpoena witnesses to appear at the trial and to testify on your behalf under oath? I do understand. In other words, your attorneys could cause court orders to go out. People would be required to come in. They would have to take the witness stand and testify under oath. Is that clear? Yes, it is clear. You understand you're giving up that right by entering your plea. They're not going, that process will not uh, go forward. I do understand. You understand that you have the right to confront and cross-examine witnesses at trial through your respective attorneys? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Again. When witnesses came in, they would have the chance to question them, to challenge them as to their accuracy, their bias, uh, their memory, uh, all types of things. But you're giving up that right by entering a plea. Is that clear? Yes, it is clear, Your Honor. Sir, do you understand that you have the right to require the state to prove your guilt by evidence beyond a reasonable doubt? Can you please? Uh... Sure. Do you understand that you have the right to require the state to prove your guilt by evidence beyond a reasonable doubt? Do you yes. understand that? Yes. In other words, at a trial, they would have to prove each count by evidence beyond a reasonable doubt, each and every element of each count. And each count would be considered by a trier of fact separately. And they have to meet that burden of proof on each and every count of the indictment, 
each and every element and each and every specification. You understand you're uh, relieving them of that burden by entering a guilty plea. Yes, I do, Your Honor. Finally, you understand that you have the right to remain silent and not testify, and no one could comment on the fact that you did not testify at trial. Could you repeat it, please? Sir, do you understand that you have the right to remain silent and not testify, and no one could comment on the fact that you did not testify at trial? I don't understand, yes. You don't have to.